Hey guys, this is Subhash S. Mishra, your test coach. In this video, we will learn about Cypress hooks. In our previous videos, we have already learnt about what is Cypress and what are the different features Cypress has. We have seen how to install Cypress, how to write test cases in Cypress, how to locate elements in Cypress, how to interact with different web elements like input box, radio button, checkbox, drop down, alerts and all. If you have not watched those videos, please do watch it. I have explained everything step by step. I will always recommend to watch the complete playlist, then only you will able to understand everything in detail. I will also provide the playlist link in the video description. If you like my videos, please like, share and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon, so you will not miss any further notification. So let's start. So the very first thing we will understand what is Cypress hooks. Whenever we develop any test automation framework, one key concept we need to handle is pre or post condition for a test case or test suit. Why that is required? Because while testing or writing automation test cases, you can come across multiple situations where a specific action needs to be performed before or after either each test case or before or after all the test cases in the test suit. In that case, same piece of code you cannot write multiple times. If you understand testng framework, there we have seen annotations like before method, after method, before class, after class, before suit, after suit, right? Those are used to organize the test cases. Similarly, Cypress also provides hooks which is borrowed from Mocha framework. Those hooks are helpful to set conditions that you want to run before a setup test or before each test. They are also helpful to clean up conditions after a setup test or after each test. So let me explain more about that. Right? In Cypress, we have four different kinds of hooks before, before each, after each and after. So there are total four different kind of hooks available in Cypress. Okay, so we'll see in detail what are these hooks and how we can use these hooks, right? So here, if we'll see, this is the Mocha framework, right? So inside the describe block, we used to write the test suit, and inside the test suit, we will have multiple test cases. Here you can see, right? This is the describe block, and this is the test suit, and here we have the multiple IT blocks. This is one IT block, this is one IT block and this is one IT block. Okay, So, in IT block is nothing but your test case. So, we have total three test cases here and we have one test suit. So, inside one test suit, we have three test cases. Fine. So, think about one scenario where what you have to do, you have to log in multiple times. So, First, you have to log in, then you have to execute or validate test case 1, then you have to log out. Again, you have to log in, you have to validate this test case 2, and then you have to log out from that website. And again, you have to log into the same website, you have to validate test case 3, and you have to log out. Okay. So, if this is the case, same website, you are logging in multiple times, and you are logging out multiple times. It is like for each test case, once you are logging in and once you are logging out. So, in that case, if you will see, right, this login code you are writing multiple times, right. So, how to deal with that? We do not want to write it multiple times. That is where this before each and after each helps, right. So, for login code, if you will write it inside the before each block, then it will automatically execute for each test case. So, here if you will see, be before each test case, right? We have this login method, so we'll we'll tie this login method with before each block, so it will get executed before each of your test case. Similarly, if you will tie this logout method with after each block, then it will get executed after each test case. Fine. Now you understood what is before each, 
what is after reach. Now, one more thing is, so if there are some conditions, for example, you want to load some configuration file or you want to do some primary setup before all these test cases, in that case what you will do. So, here you can see right one setup method and one tear down method. So, in the setup method you are setting off all the basic things. For example, you want to load the configuration file right. So, that, that is one time activity. So, before all your test case you want it, it to be executed once and after all your test case this tear down method should get executed. So, whatever this configuration and all you have loaded you want to free it off right you want to tear down that method. So, these two methods will get executed only one time. So, here you understand like this method will get executed only once before all your test cases ok only once and this one after execution of all the test cases only once right. So, what we will do we will keep it inside the before block. So, this setup method will come inside the before block and this tear down method will come with the after block. So, if we will write with that then it will get executed only once right. So, before your test execution started before your test case execution started and after all your test case execution done then this method will get executed. Now, I will show with the code. So, you will able to understand it very clearly. So, let us see let us go to our visual studio code. So, here previously we have this test case a lot right. So, let me just copy and paste and I will rename it to for example, hooks ok and let me close this. So, here if we will see we have multiple test cases right ok. Let me delete all these things we will write from the scratch. Let me remove this and here I will write test the hooks anything you can write. So, this is the describe block this is your test suit name ok and this one will name it as tc01. So, it is inside the it block ok. So, I am not writing much. So, let us write only tc01 and here let me not validate so many things I will just show you the, with the example here what we will do we will just write cui dot log here we will write tc01 executed or tc01 that is all let it be like this only. And similarly, here we will write one more IT block, here we will write TC02 and here also we will write TC02, here we will write TC03 and TC03. So, basically we have three test cases, I am just printing it right, I am not doing any uh, code here. So, I just want to show you, so I am just writing, I am just printing, uh, I am giving this log TC01 executed also or test test. TC01 or you can just write inside TC01, inside TC02, inside TC03 anything is fine right any message this is just simple message. Now, we will see how we can use the hooks ok. So, let us go to the Google and here we will just type Cypress hooks ok. So, let us go to the documentation of Cypress right. So, here you can see writing and organizing test and if you will come down you will see cypress hooks. Let me go down. So, here you can see hooks cypress also provides hooks borrowed from mocha I was telling this right it was borrowed from mocha and this is how you can write. So, inside describe block you can write this before before each after each and after method right. So, here you see how to execute all these hooks. So, what I will do I will just copy all these blocks and I will just paste it inside the describe block right. So, here it was inside the describe block. So, I will just copy inside the describe block. So, you can write in this way also or if you just want to write in the normal way function you can write this also this is also fine. So, now what we will do here we will just tell cy dot log then what will log here? So, if you will see here this is the before block right it will execute only once. So, here we will tell inside 
B4 block. Okay. Similarly, what we will do? B4 each, right? Here we will write inside B4 each, and here we will tell inside after each, and here we will tell inside after block. Fine. Let me just save it. Now, what we will do? We will execute this and we will see how it is getting executed. I did not change this one. This is also fine. You can write in this way also. You can write in this way also. Does not matter. Okay. So, now let us execute. So, to execute what we will do? We will write here npx cypress open. So, just open your terminal and write npx cypress open. Right. Enter. Let the cypress test runner open. So, it opened now what we will do we will just execute this is the test case right hooks just click on that let it get executed so here we see tc01 tc02 and tc03 got executed right so let's see that so here what you see inside before block okay so this got executed only once right then what it got executed inside before each block then inside after each block so if you will see test case 0 1 here and before to that we have inside before each block inside after each block test case 0 2 before each block after each block test case 0 3 before each block after each block but if you will notice before block and after block it it got executed only once so before block got executed only once before all the test cases and after block got executed after all the test cases right so now you understand how this is working right so if you will see here before block was executed only once before all your test cases after block was executed only once after all the test cases but before each and after each will get executed for each test case that's what we saw here right so this is how you can use the hooks and this is how the hooks will be helpful for you okay you can write it once and you can tag with whatever block you want before each before after each after and you can use it across your test suit and test cases that's all for today in our next video we'll see fixtures in cypress hope this video is helpful for you thank you if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section i'll try to explain it please like share and subscribe to my channel